Shalom, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, now, this is another post. Uh, Brother Kahan in the camp, he sent me this article. I don't know if he sent it yesterday or this morning, but I checked it. I checked my, you know, my messages this morning and the brother sent me it. And um, this is New York Times once again, and it says, with the rise of far-right extremists, NYPD creates special unit. All right, so now this is the stem off of the incident, uh, the, I'll say, false flag attack on the Jewish Edomites with this guy calling himself an Israelite, you know, and they stated that he was a part of the Church of Israelites, Church of God, Jersey City, which is a uh, Tazadakia camp attack, you know, the one that got locked up got raided by the feds you know that group and um you know now new york they all of a sudden just created a special unit <laughs> it, it's how you know this is all stage all of a sudden the very next day they got a special unit all right and um you know let me read this it says threats from far right and neo-nazis organizations including groups like the proud boys will be investigated now i never heard of the proud boys that's something to give a look up for to see what that is and who that is but it says will be investigated all right they could be playing <laughs> the proud boys yeah i gotta look that up but anyway it says will be investigated the, the hebrew israelites been investigated since day one this is why they uh you know established the, they they basically call us the black hebrew israelites because they want to make us an extremist group you know a group like the ISIS and the, you know the, you know the killing and blowing up buildings as if we're terrorists. We're not terrorists, man. Okay, and and uh, we're not looking to blow up buildings and do things like that. You know, this is Esau and putting his plants and his uh, agents within camps. You know, to do certain things and sacrifice themselves, man. You know, so that they could get the demons demonization going on. You know, give us this this false negative narrative. You know, because they hate the fact that we're speaking the truth. All we're doing is reading the scriptures and going into uh, the prophecies, man. You know, speaking of the records that are already written, which is history, and linking it together, knowing the times in which we're living in. See, now that we, we hold the Bible dear, you know, in our minds, in our hearts, and we follow it literally, okay, it's a problem. But when they use the Bible to enslave us, which are you so-called blacks and Latinos, it was okay but today you are now you know if you speak up you are considered um a terrorist you're considered a hate group you know well we're not a hate group we're a truth group all right and it says we'll be investigated that just makes me think um you know this is just the feds and whatever group they create to get more funded you know so that they could do their dirty work you know so they could falsely acclaim and uh, try to get a hand on stopping us from teaching his word, you know. But the scriptures speak that there will, there will be a famine on the word, you know. And we will get off those corners and we will not teach, you know. Because the Lord is going to shut brothers up, not Esau, okay. And when the Lord shut brothers up, you better be, you better, you better know that his light's out, man. Well, most high, hey, Yahweh Shai is on his way, man. All right. Now. Um, this is no different from them cre uh, them putting drugs in the community, um, putting guns into the community, creating the gangs into the community, funding them, you know, because it creates jobs for Esau, all right, the son of perdition, the master of disaster, okay? You know, that's all it is. It's just creating jobs for Esau and, and um, trying to put a clamp on the word, you know, bringing a famine on his truth, all right? Now I'll leave the link. You can go into brothers could go into this if you want. Do a show on it, you know. You know, basically the boogeyman. They, they, you know, Esau, you you threw man, you threw man, you know. But hey, the demonization has has uh has started man. All right, all because they laboring this guy an Israelite, and he did it in the name of an Israelite. Like this is bullshit, you know. But the devil gonna be the devil. Anyway, I'll leave a link to the article. I want to read the scripture here, which is Ephesians chapter 5. And I'm going to start at uh, 
I'm going to start at verse 7. All right. Now, this is this word is for the elect. All right. So it says, be not ye therefore partakers with them. For ye were sometimes darkness, but now ye are the now ye are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. And, uh, and our Lord, all right, never taught us to go out there and to be violent. You know, he never taught us to be extremists as Esau want to call us. So we don't do such a thing. You know, the real men of the Lord is waiting upon Yahweh Shai to return, man. Okay, as it is written, he said, wait ye upon me till I rise up to the prey. All right, you know, so what are we not to be partakers with? Partakers with these other different camps, man. You know, guys that's teaching false doctrines. All right, because you got agents within these camps, you know, that's going out, taking videos and showing themselves with guns and, and bow and arrows. And, you know, because they're trying to help Esau plant. Well, they try, they're striving to help Esau to set the stage. OK, because all it takes is one man. OK, one plant from Esau that's in the group and to do something stupid, you know, and, and to blame all of the Israelites. You know, that's what they're looking for. You know, and Esau, he's going to keep, you know, throwing his propaganda out there and his false flags because that's what he wants to do. All right. And the people, you know, you people out here that are not going to come across these videos, you know, until it's too late, you know. You know, you know, you're going to believe the false negative narrative that they're trying to place upon the Israelites. And that's why they keep calling us the black Hebrew Israelites, as as if Esau, the so-called white man, is not a Hebrew Edomite, you know, and as if we don't have Hispanics. OK, men teaching and it's truth, calling themselves Israelites as well. All right. But anyway, be not ye therefore partakers with them, for ye were sometimes darkness but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. Yeah, so that we can see. We can see the bullshit. The scriptures say, it lets us know, hey, not to be ignorant of Satan's devices. Who is Satan? Who's Satan's counterpart? Esau. All right? And yeah, we was in darkness when we was in our uh, Gentile frame of mind. Okay? When we didn't, we didn't know the Lord. But now, it says, walk as children of the light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth all right because the elect is going to walk in the fruit of the spirit okay as a matter of fact the elect is the first fruits so it says for the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth you know the elect ain't gonna have dregs in their head man okay they're not gonna do their own thing and uh go on video and show themselves with guns and talk about make rap songs and say uh, no, this is the revolution, you know, with a sniper rifle in his back trunk. You know, hey, you guys need to get slapped down, man. You know, and anyone that's following them, you just a bigger fool than they are. Verse 10, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. You see, see, we're set up to prove, okay, what is acceptable unto Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. All right, now what's acceptable? Acceptable is just teaching the truth. Acceptable of the Lord, all right, is, is to go out in the week in and week out and push this truth all the way to the end, all right, you know, and just teach, following the ordinances of the Lord, not doing all that extra shit, man, you know, trying to invite any and everybody to your Passover so you can make money. It says, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. That's what Great Millstone do. That's what Great Millstone was set up for by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Starting with the apostles and elders, man. It's to prove what is acceptable unto the Lord, man. Because the Lord do have men down here on the earth teaching the ways of salvation. All right. It says, and have no fellowship with the un unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reproving them. Man, it's a badass scripture, man. This is a bad scripture. We have no, it says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. And this is why a lot of you hate Great Millstone, because Great Millstone, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, reproves you, corrects you, man. Everything, every little thing you do, you're going to get corrected while we can. 
while we still could teach, while we still could defend the gospel. All right, all that rap shit get cut, man. Okay, all that showing yourselves with guns and bow and arrows is cut, man. Ain't no need to try to show your expertise and and uh, might and being a mighty man. The Most High gonna make us a mighty man uh, uh, in the flesh through his through his word, man. Not by our own carnal nature, you know, and our own carnal heart. You know, doesn't matter if you could throw a punch or you know some UFC moves, man. It doesn't matter if you go to the, you know, you know how to shoot a, a bow and arrow, man. You guys are idiots, man. You know, you're incriminating yourself and you're not walking wisely. So, as Paul is saying here, for and and having no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. So we don't have no fellowship with you, men. Okay, it says, but rather reproving them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the by the light. For whatsoever doeth maketh manifest is light. So what comes to light? What what comes into the what manifests is the light of the Lord. When the Lord exposes you, that's the Lord, man. Okay? Let me read that again. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light for whatsoever doeth maketh manifest is light wherefore he say awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Yahawashai Hamashiach shall give thee light exactly because you supposed to put off the old man alright come out from the dead man wake the hell up alright put off that old nigga nature man alright it says, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead. And Yahweh Shai Hamashiach shall give thee light, which give you eyes to see. And we can see all the bullshit that's going on. Alright? We can see what Esau is doing. His agenda is to is to push his new world order. His agenda is to is to uh force everyone to have the RFID microchip. Okay, his agenda is he wants to control the this this narrative. He wants to control and be a god he wants to be worshipped as the most high all right he wants a one world government a one world army you know and and the israelites are in the way the prophets are in the way all right because it's still a, a light there you know if you're in a room full of darkness and it's a little light there well you got to understand the darkness want to consume that light it don't want that light to be there and that's what the 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 the, the prophets the true prophets are they're that light in the world and Esau he has everything in darkness but he know because he know and and let me say this too he knows that the the prophets of the Lord can see can understand what the elites understand all right that's sitting back which I'm talking about the Rothschilds all right the, the the house of Esau they're sitting back in their plants but you know what he wants he wants to shut that light off man all right but the ultimate light is coming, which is Yahweh Shai. So it says, see then that we walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. So now it's very important to walk circumspectly. Examine brothers, you know, you know, be, be, be balanced, you know, be vigilant, be more of a watchman, looking to see what else Esau got coming up, you know, out of the source and what he's planning on whipping up in his witchcraft pot, being a warlock being a witch you know now it's time to be circumspect it says not as fools but as wise it's time to be wise you know you're still looking for fame you got israelites that's still looking for fame they still want no they want not notoriety if i'm saying that right they want they want to be noticed you know they want the views they still want to be a youtuber they want to make money off this truth you know like the late spring demon uh, what's his name? Kwanaf from Fopi Camp that just popped back, popped his head out of nowhere at the you know at, at this very end when YouTube is about to be taken out, you know. Uh, well, not say taken out, but the Israelites being taken off of YouTube. You still want fame? You want to be noticed? You want to you want to be that mighty Hebrew prophet, the gorilla Hebrew? You want to be the top teacher, top dog? Well, guess what? You got it. All right? Because you're the first one that Esau coming for, man. You know? And I'm going to say this. 
you know, this is, see, let me not say Esau coming for the first ones the Lord going to get, man, because you can suffer for righteousness or you can also suffer for being wickedness, man, and not being wise. And the shit that y'all niggas doing out there in these different camps and promoting out here and putting out, publishing what you're doing, that vibration, your niggas going to suffer wrong. You, excuse me. You're going to suffer uh, uh, for wickedness, man. You're going to suffer for not being wise, man. So for the hopeful elect, you know, may the Lord have mercy on us because we've been striving and putting this truth, pushing this word, you know, with a sincere mind. We got to walk circumspectly and be wise, man. You know? And um, let me see what this says. I ain't want to make this lesson too long, but just want to go into the word circumspectly, accurately, diligently, exactly. All right. So we got to diligently be vigilant, man. Perfectly. All right. We got to be perfectly sound in judgment. You know? Perfect. We got to strive to be perfect. Diligently. You got to diligently be on it. You know, diligently be on it, man. All right. So I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, this is also, like I said, let me not get away from this too long because, you know, Jake Mines. Um, this article that just came out, New York Times, which came out yesterday, brother sent to me. I got it today. It says with rise of far right extremists, NYPD creates special unit. So they got a special unit for all groups that they call hate groups. You know, and they doing an investigation or whatever they call it. You know, you got ages out here, man. You got their plants. So walk circumspectly and may your how about you. I shall be with the elect and um, Shalak, uh, Shalak Rayum, you know, on um, on all uh, you demons, man. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises to you. I will shy by Shem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.